Hey, it's Jovena from Ben Spark Family Adventures back with another Fortnite video. We're going to do some of the challenges for week 11, the epic challenges. Uh, I'm going to do all of them and put them into this one uh, challenge video. This is a new setup for me, so hopefully uh, it looks good and um, maybe better than the previous ones. I'm still monkeying around with the new setup, and so we'll see what happens. Okay, to start off, our new challenge is from Dreamflower. We have stage 103, Mark an Alien Parasite. From Special Forces, we want to deal damage in alien biomes. And that's 150 damage. And for Maven, one of three, travel in a saucer. Each one of those is 30,000 XP, uh, XP. And then from Gigomon, we have deal damage with suppressed weapons. Yes, there are some suppressed weapons now. So if we take a look at the Wild Week we have all new suppressed weapons, which is awesome because I, I'm really excited about that. So I'm running to Holly Hatchery because that's where we have an alien biome. And maybe I might find an alien to attack here. Let's see. Because that'll allow me to cause damage. Oh, right there. Oh, you know what we can do? We can mark an alien parasite. No! I marked a gas can! Dang it. Oh, there we go. Alright, we deal, dealt the damage that we needed to deal in the alien biome. We still gotta get through this. Oh, uh, we did some melee damage to structures. Plenty of it. There we go, got him! Alright, just in time to get out of the hatchery. So, did we finish our challenges there? Oh, okay, there we did. Uh, mark an alien parasite. We did not mark an alien parasite. Let's... Oh. Let's get out of the storm to do that. And I think I know how I can mark an alien parasite if I can do it right. I need to get this parasite off my head. And then I can mark it. So let's try to do that. Actually, there's a whole building of alien parasites uh, in the basement of Durberger. So let's head to Durberger and do that as well. So what we do, we mark, uh, oh no, we haven't traveled to the saucer. We gotta get the saucer. Okay, so the alien parasites are already down here. And there we go, marked them. And uh, might as well get some, oh, there's quite a few of them in here. Okay, we got a few of them there. So we just need to get ourselves a saucer. Um, hey, I thought I dealt some damage with the suppressed weapons. Apparently I did not. Oh, shoot. I didn't want to eat that one yet. Oh, well. I ate the fishy. Huh. Suppressed weapon. Let's see what that makes. Does it make a suppressed uh, burst? Nope, just a straight up burst. Oh, I lost my suppressed weapon. All right, guys, next up uh, from Dream Flower, we have stage two of three, dance with an alien parasite at Believer Beach, Lazy Lake, or Pleasant Park. So I guess that means we have to have an alien parasite on our heads in order to do that. I don't know why Craggy Cliffs and Retail Row are lit up, but they are. And I still have to travel in the saucer. Okay, this is absolutely going to be uh, a race for the Lonely Lander because of the challenge to 
you know, fly 2,000 meters in a spacecraft. So I want to get myself over to Lonely Lander as quickly as I can, and I think probably about four or five other people are trying for that same spot. So if my landing was good, maybe I'll get it. If not, I am going to be left in the dust. So here we got the Lonely Lander below, and trying to make ourselves a landing so that we can get into it and go. Boom, Lonely Lander. We got it. So we're going to take the Lonely Lander up and away. And that's already... Huh. All right. I guess this gets counted as the drive a thousand meters for the regular challenge, which is funny. Uh, but I've on 428 meters so far. A thousand in this the driving, which is you know different. Uh, let's see. I should probably get a weapon at some point here. So, nope. I would probably not want to land on that dude. He's uh, somebody's coming in. Oh, here we go. Here's a weapon. Just get a weapon and get back in the Lonely Lander and fly off. So, we've gone a thousand meters so far, and now we're being shot at. Oh, they're doing pretty good shooting on me. I just want to fly, man. We're getting down low. Oh, how you doing? Might as well take somebody out while we're doing this, right? Here we go. Hey, it's got to be a bot because they still keep trying to do like work. Take this bus and go. All right, 2,000 meters. That is flying in a saucer. 2,000 meters. Let's toss a bus at somebody. Let's do the ukulele for a little bit. That is a little too long there, buddy. Thank you. chance to use the suppressed weapon on somebody. Oh, nice. Took him out. And 237 damage on 249. Why do we get some for this? Ninety-nine on that. Okay, we're gonna dance with an alien parasite. So there we go. We got our alien parasites. Our next set of challenges here, stage uh, three of three. Go for a swim with an alien parasite. And from Maven, stage two or three, use a recon span scanner to spot an infected wildlife or trespasser. So we'll do those two. They're 30,000 XP as well. I have a recon scanner, and I found my way over to um, Holly Hedges. There we go. We've marked out a trespasser with the recon scanner. And if we could actually get some... There we go. Take care of that. Our last challenge from Maven is stage three or three, interact with equipment at any IO data uh, dish base. So we'll get to interact with some equipment. There. So I'm in Durburger and my main purpose in Durburger is to get infected by the aliens. They're all over the place here. But that's my main purpose, is to get infected. So, 
let's let one out. And well, let's let another one out and take it, take it out. There we go. So I've gotten infected with an alien parasite, and I need to get myself over to a radar dish. Not that that's part of the challenge, but that is the last bit of of this challenge for today. Um, is go for a swim with an alien parasite, but also to interact with the equipment at a radar dish. So I figure I'd do both at the same time and get myself over to Dampy Dish out here in Slurpy Swamp and also go for a swim. So just flying out over Slurpy Swamp. I'm gonna jump out. And I did my swim, and there we go. There is one part of the equation there. Let's see, is anybody over here? We'll just see. Let's eat some corn. Smash some slurp. And look for the equipment that we need to interact with. In here? Nope. So what kind of equipment do we have to interact with at the base? Did I blow it up? Nope, that's not it. Do I interact with the radar dish itself? Nope. Ah, there we go, at the radar dish. We're gonna upload some information there and that gets us our 30,000 XP. If you wanna see where I am, right here at Dampy Dish, at the radar dish itself. That's how you do that one. And other than getting the um, all the damage with the suppressed weapons, well, that's pretty much everything for today. Um, I'm going to get myself into the circle here. Talk with uh, our buddy here. Uh, hey, how you doing? Okay, fish at fishing hole. Sure, I'd like to do some fishing. Um, that's about it. I've just got to, to do 101 uh, damage with suppressed weapons, which I can do at any point. Uh, anyway, this is Drew Bennett from Ben Spark Family Adventures. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter as Ben Spark, Facebook.com slash Ben Spark Family Adventures. And you can find me here making videos all the time. Thanks for watching. All right, let's finish off that suppressed weapon challenge and get that. There we go. There we go. 1,000 damage. Get 20,000 XP. It looks like the legendary quest is actually progressive. So first it was 1,000, then it was 5,000. Uh, you get more uh, XP for that. So that's really good.